Hello everyone, Kooky Wookie here with Jedi Knight Valer. Uh, we're just about to continue the quest. We've been sent by Master Orgus Din to go speak with the Twi'lek Pilgrims, particularly the Matriarch. Um, so we're here in the uh, Kalakori village, just east of the Jedi Temple, about to take on some more epic missions. Come over here, Jedi, and spare a moment for a humble servant of the Matriarch. I promise, your other dealings will wait. My name is Vidariot Aeon. I minister to the bodies and spirits of the villagers, and I have a request. I speak of the Flesh Raiders. Of late, we've seen them growing stronger, and I know why. Dun, 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 dun. What are the Flesh Raiders, exactly? Where do they come from? No one's sure. They were here when the Pilgrims came to Tython. The Flesh Raiders have been experimenting, concocting an elixir that makes them ravenous. The ones who drink it go mad. Their lips froth, and they pounce like starving animals. It's black medicine, primitive and evil. Well, it certainly doesn't sound healthy for their system. How could Flesh Raiders learn to do something like that? Yeah. I have no idea. Such wickedness is beyond our comprehension. We lack the numbers to attack the Flesh Raiders directly, and not even the Jedi could wipe the monsters from this world. But with our warriors' help, the Jedi could reach the Flesh Raider caves and destroy their vats of elixir. Then count me in. Thank you for this. Odemus Mare knows where the vats are hidden. He is our guard captain. Talk to him to learn the Raiders' secrets. Hmm. Wonderful. Black medicine causing people to go mad. Sounds like a typical Jedi morning. Alright, now I believe if we go in here, we're going to go speak with the Matriarch. Ah. Looks Matriarchish. Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgus Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deign to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. Mm, maybe? Mm. How did you learn about the attack? It only just happened. We heard the sounds of your battle. Watch the attack from a safe distance. Now you know what we endure. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. The Matriarch appears sick. Does she need a doctor? Thank you, but we have our own healers. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... other matters. Personally? I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. Removing that technology will neutralize the Flesh Raiders. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? Their technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, we could defend ourselves with those weapons. <laughs> Option number three would be a bad idea. This village is vulnerable to attack. You need better defenses. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. Indeed I will. I'd like to point out it's kind of interesting that the male Twi'leks have human-like ears, while the female Twi'leks have these little lumpy things. Yes. Unique. I'm not sure which looks better, but it's kind of interesting that's a uh, gender thing with Twi'leks. Alright. Um, okay. 
believe this quest will take me a little off the trail. But learn a little about Twi'lek culture. More young Jedi in Kalakori, I see. I am Yula Fan, master of rituals. I welcome you. You wish to participate in the ceremony, I presume? You understand the dangers? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You've not been told then. I apologize. Many of your brethren, your Padawans, come to Kalakori to perform our rite of passage. Sneaking out at night. Those who endure the ceremony are awarded an audience with Kolovish to receive her wisdom and her gifts. Who's Kolovish? What's the ceremony all about? Kolovish lives in the mountains above, once our leader. Now she is our guide and protector. To complete the ceremony, you must walk the thousand steps to her home. You must carry a burning brand and light the signals along the path. You must protect the flame from beasts and flesh raiders. This will prove your worth. If you wish, I will ignite the brand. It burns only a short while. But if you are deserving, it will be enough. Well, I'm all about protecting torches, I'm ready so... ready to carry the flame. Then go, and light each of the signal fires along the mountain path. When you reach the end, you will find Kolovish. Okay. Rites of passage are nice. Sort of a coming-of-age thing, I guess, for Twi'lex. Behold the blue glowing brand receiver. Oh, the first signal is lit. Not too bad of a journey. I wonder if it really is a thousand steps. Travel the thousand steps to Glovish. Light the brands along the way. Beware the flesh raiders. Oh, there's some Horinth. Fortunately, when many pilgrims walk this path, it's easy to walk a thousand steps. And I would walk five hundred more. Just to meet a Twi'lek called Kalovish. And receive some nice gifts from her hand. What kind of gifts Twi'lex give? Leku warmers or something nice like that. No. Oh, I've got one more signal. I have a feeling the trip back, from the looks of these corpses, is not going to be quite as easy as the trip there. Oh look! The signal beacon! Already lit. It burns so pretty. We'll just relight it then. Yay! Speak to Kolovish. What words of wisdom will she give me, a young Jedi Padawan? They who walk a thousand steps to receive fortune cookie words are fools. He's going to have a little bit of fun. Oh, a consular. Jedi consular. I kind of wonder what the purpose of these houses are. They're very small. They don't really have any couches or bathrooms or kitchens. It's just like, here's a main floor with nothing in it, and walk up an incredibly long staircase to... Da -da -da -da, a balcony with one person. Excellent home material. You perform the rite of the pilgrims well, Jedi. I saw the signal fires as you climbed the path. Very few of your kind make it this far. I am Kalovish, first matriarch and reader of the ancient texts. I led our people to this planet, and I welcome you. You're the reason the pilgrims came to Tython? My teachings angered our rulers. They spurned our lifestyle and refused to recognize the authority of the matriarchs. On Tython, we found we could practice our ways in peace. Even the flesh raiders can't destroy our society. Not forever. 
Now you've completed the ritual, and you are friend to the pilgrims. You share our burdens, and you share our strength. I'm tremendously honored. Take these gifts. We have very little, as you must know. But you are Jedi. You share our world, and you face a difficult future. I'm here to help. Is there anything I can do? Remember us, and remember our ways. Go to your duties now, and as we part, know that my blessings go with you. Hoorah! Well, nice to meet friendly Twi'leks. Oh, what did she give us? Uh -huh. A pair of gloves! Always appreciated. My hands were getting a little cold. Don't want cold Jedi fingers now, do we? Back down the staircase. I noticed that um, people seem to shun uh, handrails. They must be very sure-footed. Alright, now for the trip back. A thousand steps more. Or maybe it's 500, 500. And they just mean a thousand steps total. Maybe Twi'leks don't care about math. Aha! Now the enemies are back. Let's see if I can get them before these guys do. Aha! Teamwork! La da 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 da. You know, I think if I was a Jedi, I would have thought up something like Force Fly. Using the Force, lift yourself off the ground and levitate your way back home. They prefer to walk, generally speaking. <gasps> a chest of goodies. That was easy. Oh, chest! It had pants! Yes! Pants. It's kind of awkward you change these in the middle of a field, but hey. I'm sure it's fine. Decent Jedi moment. Here I go, a wassailing along the trail so brown. Knocking all the Sith, Lu, and Flesh Raiders down. Well, that was- Hey, even my Tauntaun leveled up. Level 5 Tauntaun. Not quite sure what that makes it capable of doing, but... Five times the cuteness. Eyes are a little creepy. I mean, a person could walk between them. <laughs> Honestly, better than running if you just kind of like force leap your way home. It saves time. Feel the blade of peace, my friends. Tranquility. No emotion or pain. Jedi are chopped full of contradictions. Because I don't think he was threatening me when I took him out. Ah, beautiful view out here in Tython, though. Ah, ah, there's the Calicori village. Fantastic. Alright, so... Now that I've performed a rite of passage back to saving the world, I'm sure they don't mind me uh, having my coming of age celebration if I was a Twi'lek. Sorry, a little distracted, guys. Now I'll save you. Don't worry. You're too late, Jedi. Oh no! <laughs> All the other times, the flesh raiders already came. They already took their victims. I was having a rite of passage. My father knew these mountains. He helped guide the patrols when he could. But when the Flesh Raiders appeared, he never made it home. He wasn't young, but he deserves better than to be ripped apart. Show compassion, Jedi. Find him, and kill any Raiders who'd stop you. 
Well, since I feel a little bad about doing my rite of passage instead of saving your father... I'll do everything I can to find your father. Be well, then. But more important, be quick. Please. If you find him, if he's hurt or confused, you'll know him by his golden promise ring. He wouldn't part with it. Not until death. You know, that's not really the best physical description I've ever been given. You'll know him by his golden promise ring, because I'm totally going to see that more than, like, what color is he? How tall is he? Does he have patterns on his leku? Do they look like? No, go find a guy with a ring on. Sure, that'll work splendidly. Jedi, I think I know what you've been doing. Bedaria sent you to speak with me. She told you about the Flesh Raider elixir, didn't she? How it makes the Flesh Raiders strong. The Dariot's been looking for a way to destroy the elixir, but she's making a terrible mistake. We shouldn't destroy the elixir, we need it! And I'll pay you well if you bring it to me. What exactly are your intentions? The elixir can make our guardsmen strong. Yes, it may change them, but it will work. We can defend our village and destroy our foes. Imagine, if the elixir can make a flesh raider powerful, what would it do for a pilgrim warrior? Bring it to me, and you will be rewarded, praised. Um, I don't really want everyone to go mad, so... I won't help you feed the elixir to the pilgrims. Right on. Fine. Obey the orders of an old woman and destroy the elixir. But pilgrim blood is on your hands. The elixir is in the caves beyond our village. I doubt Jedi can even come close to the vats. Oh, bring it. I can totally get close to the vats. Yea, verily, even destroy them. Mwah ha 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 ha. The hollows. Tithos Ridge. He certainly had a theme going. Yay. I feel better already. Can't even get close to the vats. Bah. You know not the Jedi way. Now. Finding the vats when, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people here could be a little more interesting. Aw, oh, look at the humble little village. So pretty. Even with its cannibalistic natives. Uh-oh. This kind of looks Twi'lek-ish. Ish, ish. Maybe. Could be a person. They found me! Oh, Matriarch! Forgive me! Uh-oh. The Flesh Raiders are here! I can't fight them! The patrol is too far away! I can't... Goodbye, my son. My Matriarch. Goodbye. Uh-oh. <laughs> You know, you're in a futuristic era when your dying moments are spent giving your last vlog. <laughs> um, I just like to tweet out to all the folks at home. <laughs> Those are my last moments. Please take my promise ring back to my soon-to-be-very-disappointed son. I'm sure he'll understand. Not quite. That was interesting. It was like a dark force here. Don't know why. Hmm. Well, let's check out this nice ominous looking cave. It could hold some secrets. La la la. La la la. Holds a lot of corpses anyway. La la la. la. If you know where all these purple splotches are, our vats. These guys are all getting. I'm gonna grab this one. No, don't take it on me. Ah! Got that one. Not even sure. Let's save some time. Jump run! Probably should have done that a little closer to him, but what odds? Okay, let me grab it. <laughs> Synchronize, come on. That's gotta count. Synchronize jumping here. Oh, a little sticky. If I 
Fantastic. A salvager? And I think this is the last one. Ah, oh, two out of five. He must have been catching all those other ones. Oh well. Ta da! The green cave. Fantastic. Fia! Into the fray! see what there is to see here. Oh, more flesh raiders. Surprising. Not much. Certainly are a lot of them. Mm-hmm. And a few more. Wait till my jump. Save myself some steps. More sleep. Howdy. Oh, you zapped me. That's not cool. anything of interest. Eh. Five armor, but less. What else? It's got a couple stim packs. Ooh. Looks like a little bit of a bruiser up there. Let's grab these little tech salvager. It's look, flesh raider techies. This is the IT support group. They like build their own machines. Linux users of the flesh raiders. Had to make a cat. <laughs> Almost no opposition. Excellent. All right. War master. Bit of a big guy, I guess. Like his hair. My spiky tentacles. Apparently, he does the tips of them. Don't look now. But you're about to die. There we are. Now oh, I got the access code. Oh, person who said I would never get the access code. Boha. And here. Oh, a little droid. T701. How are you? Can I talk to you? Oh, that's a familiar sound. Alright, I think these are the supplies we're supposed to be going after. Once they have all this, the Twi'leks can defend themselves. Yay. Don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of here. Hmm. Glad you're okay, Good thing though. the Flash Raiders don't eat droids. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. Ominous. Ah, hmm. uh, I'll remove it for you, little guy. I never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway. <laughs> Ready to roll. Awesome. So we actually have a little companion now. T701. This is like Jedi Knight or Jedi. Yes, yeah, sorry. Jedi Knight is the earliest class that gets their companion the soonest. Um, he will disappear for a little bit, but we'll get him back. 
But it's an awesome T7. Yay, what's a Jedi without their helpful droid? So, when we come back next time, we're going to hand in this quest and hopefully destroy the last of the uh, vats of poison. Haha. -ha. And save the uh, Twi'leks from a fate worse than death. Mad, frothing at the mouth flesh eaters. <laughs> so see you in the next vid.